Sharif, thank you. Excited for that two lane game later. Jim, I wore my what I consider my two lane blue color dress today. And I don't know if you know this, but our producer Maddie Taliancic, her older brother Noah, younger brother, I'm dating her. Her right. younger brother Noah plays for Tulane. No kidding. He's a Cotton Bowl winning champ. Holy cow. So we're big Tulane fans here at WDSU. So well, that's great. They should be pretty good again this year. I think right they here. should. Now you got a good forecast for them or? Well, uh, yeah. yes and no. The temperatures are going to be held down a little bit, but we are tracking some rain and it looks like that rain is going to be a factor not only today, but probably tomorrow and again on Monday. Let's get right to it because we're tracking it using our storm tracker radar and our street level mapping. What you saw right there, the unsettled weather with just showers popping up, that I think is going to be the case for us throughout Monday. Here's a shower that may affect Kenner or Metairie. No lightning with it, thankfully. And then a few more showers that at Kenilworth, you're probably going to get some rain here in the next five or 10 minutes or so. But again, these aren't major showers by any stretch of the imagination. They are representative, though, of I think the rain that we're going to see today, tomorrow and Monday. Now, our current conditions include actually some pretty nice weather. If you factor in the fact that it is a little cloudy, but the temperatures are a little more comfortable than they have been, say, earlier this week, with the exception of Wednesday into Thursday. Dew point at 76, so that 81 actually feels like 87 when you factor in the humidity. To the tropics we go. Tropic watch, as we like to say. Nothing in the Gulf of Mexico, just some disorganized cloudiness. But then we have, and pardon me for laughing because none of these storms are going to have anything to do with us, but the remnants of two storms, then two tropical areas, and then one that actually bears watching, one that came off the coast of Africa, a tropical wave that has a 70% chance for development in the next seven days. But even here by day seven, not even to the lesser Antilles. So that's one that Louisiana will watch, but we're not worried about it. We have an upper level low pressure system. See the spin in the atmosphere right here? That's going to be the thing that keeps our weather somewhat unsettled today, tomorrow, and Monday. Let's go hour by hour. Don't focus on the temperatures here. I want to go ahead and show you how the rain is probably going to develop. Obviously, some showers showing up right now as we go through the afternoon and we stop things here at about the noon hour. OK, some scattered showers, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm. A few more scattered showers as we go through the afternoon. Even overnight, we may have one or two showers pop up. But here we are Sunday morning. OK, a lot like today. Some showers close to the coast coming on shore. Showers possibly getting more numerous by the late morning and early afternoon. We'll put the chance for rain at about 60 to 70% today, tomorrow and Monday. And here's your Monday again. Some showers developing, especially as we get to the late morning and afternoon. Unsettled, the key word for the forecast all the way through the holiday. Variably cloudy today, scattered showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. We'll put the chance for rain officially at 60% with a high temperature close to 90. Tonight, some showers, they'll decrease. We may even have an isolated thunderstorm overnight, but it's not going to be any sort of a big deal. Remember, with the cloud cover, temperature is going to be held down. So severe weather is not the equation through Monday. Mostly cloudy, 70% chance for rain on Sunday with a high temperature again close to 90. We'll keep that chance for rain higher than normal, but again, it's not just rain, it's much needed rain. Chance for rain 60% Monday, and it looks like Wednesday of next week, probably going to be the most comfortable day with the dew point going down just a little bit. That's a look at your forecast on WDSU.